So I put my plates in the Westonia case that I have. Now, um, I don't even have half of what the Westonia case is supposed to hold. And it's full. There's no way on earth you're getting any more... Um, you're getting any more plates in there. So I ordered a couple of new plate holders. Um, I'm sending back the pink one because for the price I paid for this, there's just no way um, that I'm keeping it because um, number one, I don't think it's going to close any better if, if I get more of these little round ones in there. And it was kind of pricey. It was like $21.99 or something like that. So I'm not really pleased with this at all. So I'm sending it back. And one of the pockets split already, but that's that's a, neither here or there. I guess, you know, it could happen. Um, anyways, I do, for the price, $11. I am going to keep this Westonia one because I do like it. And it fits my bigger plates in there. And I really like the pocket. So, um, so I'm going to keep this one. And, you know, I'm kind of guessing. After now that I've kind of been reading reviews, which there was no review on the pink one. Thank God, because if there was a bad review on this... I would have been so mad that I didn't read it because I'm not used to buying on Amazon. I'm used to buying on eBay and there's really not, there's not reviews on eBay. So, um, so, you know, the reviews for this one was good. I didn't hear anything about, you know, that didn't hold its capacity, but it does not. It does not hold its capacity. So with that being said, I'm guessing that no <laughs> plate holders hold their capacity. Once you get those things full and you got the zipper, I just don't think it's going to be like that. And uh, I did order a new rectangle one, so I will show you that. And I did order a different one for my um, my round plates as well. So let's let me show you what I got. Okay, so this is the bundle monster one I got for my little round plates and my um, little square ones. So the reason I got this is the review said it was very sturdy and the pockets were very sturdy. And the person who actually reviewed this had this one and the queen one, which I was looking at the queen one and I was it was between those two. And they also said that the queen one had a pocket on this side and a pocket on this side, which this one does not. It only has pockets on one side. They also said that the queen one was a little slimmer and they're supposed to hold the same amount and it was a little slimmer which to me is saying that you're not going to get double <laughs> you're not going to get that many plates in there um they also said that they the pockets were a little snugger and a little hard for the plates to get out which i do not love and so i was thinking that this one since it only had plates on one side that these pockets might be roomier because two of them are supposed to fit in the pockets and I'm pretty much deciding that I'm not going to fill two in every pocket because I'm thinking that there is no way on earth that this is going to close <laughs> once you get double the plates in there. That's just not going to happen. So I think it's supposed to hold 168 and I'm fine with it holding half of that. So, um, but anyways, I, I, you know, I like it. I, um, let's see how roomy it is. Let me go get a plate. Okay, so here's one of the square ones, and let's see. These pockets are very roomy. I like that. Okay, so I wanted to show you um, the Bundle Monster case that I got when it was, um, when I had some plates in it. So I have all my plates in here. Um, it's, it's about halfway full. And as I, as I suspected, I don't think <laughs> it's going to hold double the plates. The spine isn't thick enough to hold this, this thickness again. And I don't think the zipper is going to close if it does that anyway. So that's okay because I didn't, I didn't plan on it to hold any more plates than it does. I completely love it. The plate holders are really easy um, to get in and out. They're not double-sided. Um, so I really love that about it. So now here is the one that I purchased. And it's another Bundle Monster one for my rectangle plates. So I put all of my rectangle plates in there. 
Um, as you can see, this does actually have the width, which I'm very surprised. So it could hold twice as many plates as I have in there. I have it almost full, or almost half full. Um, so this is completely amazing. And the snaps would even still close with that many plates in there. So that's awesome. It's also... Um, the plates go towards the middle, so it's not a zip around. I really wanted to zip around, but that's okay. Um, this one is fine. The plates um, go in and out towards the middle, so they're not going to fly out. And if you do, um, two plates fit in there perfect. It's not a double-sided one, but you, know, you can put two plates in there, and they fit really well. It's not too snug. Which is completely awesome because if you have nice, beautiful nails, you don't want to be breaking your nails trying to get your stamping plates out. <laughs> so I'm very happy with um, both of these plate holders and I would highly recommend those. And then I mentioned in my other video that I ordered these cute little black um, swatch sticks, which I'm, you know, I really love the size. They're, they're shorter than the other swatch sticks, which I really love. And um, I love the black so I can stamp on there and see how my stamps um, or my stamping polishes work on black. And also if any of my stamping designs um, need a black base, or I'm sorry, if any of my nail designs um, need a black base, I don't have to paint it first with nail polish. So I really love those. And I'll put the links to all this in the description box below. And then I broke down and bought these because I found them pretty cheaply on eBay. And um, what these are is these are little nail guards for um, when you do, you know, stamping nail art on your nails to protect them. You just peel them off and put them around and uh, for, um, for sponging. So I kind of broke down and I bought those and those are really cool. And then in my other video, I... I showed you um, that I bought these press-on nails to work on my nail designs, which I love the idea. So I did purchase a box to stick them in when I'm done. And um, I already have one in here, my little stamping one that I did. I put that in there. And I just made little labels and taped them to the insides. So this is going to be really fun. I'm so excited. So I can work on my stamping designs and then tuck them away for future ideas. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not one of my subscribers, please subscribe. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.